Oh, hell yeah. Look at these little dudes. They just popped up. Yeah. Okay, this is awesome. These vibing little guys. Junimos, whatever they're called. I can't remember. Oh, my friends. That was a much needed cup of tea. Warms my spirits indeed. So my friends, welcome to something different. Hopefully, what's going to be a nice and cosy little chilled out video of just me playing some Stardew Valley, which I haven't done in a while. Back in the day, I used to uh, come home from work, and if it was an especially hard shift in the restaurant, I would uh, soothe my soul for an hour or two before hitting the hay by uh, decompressing with a bit of Stardew Valley. Let's get a little fireplace going on here. Although it's, uh, I believe it's spring uh, or summer in Stardew Valley right now. It's winter here in England and it's a very cold, harsh one. And my body and mind has become weary from the harshness. And I just wanted to relax a little bit like I did in the old days and play a bit of Stardew Valley and see where it takes us. I haven't played Stardew Valley in a while, so I've started a whole new farm here. And I think we're going to jump right into it before the day drags on too much. Because we have parsnips to plant, a fine gift indeed from Mayor Lewis of 15 parsnip seeds. We're going to plant those ASAP so we can, uh, you know, we can harvest the bountiful offerings that the parsnips will give us. So let's go. And here we are. Oh, of course, new games is going to give us a tutorial. But look at this. Our farm is in disrepair. So those who haven't uh, played Stardew Valley before, you start out with a farm of your choice. I've started out with the forest farm because it's my favorite farm. I like the forest indeed, and it offers us plenty of natural uh, bounties, like mushrooms and hardwood and stuff. But first, before we can even begin planting our farm, we have to uh, remove all of the, the junk, the gubbins, because the farm has been left in disrepair. The farm was left to us by our granddad in his will, but uh, it, has not been, it has not seen kind of uh, labor in a long, long time, so it's up to us to uh, to get this going. We, our character here, well, we have left the, the hustle and bustle of city life. And I've decided to kind of steer towards something a bit more chillaxed and honest, I suppose. And a bit more, uh, I guess, a bit more rewarding for mind and body. I wish I could do this in real life. I wish I had a farm left to me or a nice bit of land that I could escape to. Alas, for now, I'm still stuck in the uh, hustle and bustle of modern life. And maybe one day, my friends, maybe one day. Uh, but where's the music? Stardew Valley normally has a, a nice little bit of music going, but... Uh, it's not the music's not playing right now. I guess I'll put some music over myself if I have to. I do quite like the Stardew Valley soundtrack, so I don't know why the music's not playing. Uh, I have got music turned on. I just checked, so uh, maybe it'll kick in in a minute. But I do normally like hearing the, the Stardew Valley soundtrack. So let's first use the hoe and make ourselves a nice little plot of land here. Get those parsnips down. I'm not sure how long this video will go on for, or if it will if I'll do another one after this. But for now, I'll just let this be a standalone vid. If you want more from uh, Stardew Valley, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can make a few more eps here and there. But this is this this one's for me, I think, this 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 video. I enjoy uh I enjoy chilling out from time to time. There we are. That should be enough for now. So let's get these seeds down, shall we? Have ourselves a bountiful harvest very soon. I think we dug out a bit too much uh, soil there, but that's fine. We can always buy some more seeds. We've got a watering can as well. So let's get that down, and then our day will be pretty much done. We can go exploring a bit, or maybe just repair the farm a bit more. So what you want to do on the first day is definitely get those seeds planted. I might even try and buy some more seeds from the shop, uh, so I can lay down maximum seedage for maximum profits uh, towards the end of the season when these uh, these seeds will sprout into wonderful parsnips indeed. So let's see about hitting up the town, shall we? Let's get some NPCs uh, befriended and whatnot. Oh, there we are. The music has now started. We've left the farm. The, the world's our oyster. The music is up. Oh, look, there's a daffodil. there. Let's grab that. Yes. See, my friends, this is the life I want IRL. I want to have a, a, a nice spread, a humble spread, where I can kind of do my own uh, hobbies and uh, produce my own artistic works and maybe do like some light farming and then uh, kind of go, go foraging, maybe meet some like-minded friends and uh, live my life uh, full of adventure and, and comfort. That would be nice. Basically, I want the Hobbit existence or the Stardew Valley existence, I guess. First, let's go buy some more seeds. Let's spend all our coinage that we have. Oh, sorry there, friend. But it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, Mayor Lewis told me about you just right. Oh, yes. Hello, Marnie. A pleasure to meet you indeed. Mayor Lewis uh, is a friend of mine. So let's get those seeds going, shall we? 
parsnip seeds, please. Let's just buy as much as our coin will allow us. Because we, we're going to... Look at that. Yeah, we spent all our coin there. 25 more seeds. That'll be plenty. Let's just meet all of the NPCs here, shall we? Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving onto the old farm. Onto the old farm. I am indeed. And I intend to stay. And I intend to build that farm to greater heights than ever seen before. So we'll quickly just meet all the NPCs. Hello, you must be James Wake, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hello. Well met, friend. Well met indeed. We're just meeting everyone. Hey, look at this. The meeting point of the town. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Oh, okay. That was, a, that was a quick and easy one. Do we do we speak to Pierre, Pierre separately or? Oh, there they are. It's Mr. James Wake, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. That's good to know. I'll also buy your produce from you for a good price. Now, there's a lot of stuff about this guy, this Pierre guy in the Stardew Valley community. He's something of a, uh, of a, of a contentious NPC. He's one of the more contentious NPCs out there in the Stardew Valley community. A lot of people don't like him due to his business practice and uh, the way he operates. It's always coined first with him. and He's kind of uh, tainting the spirit of Stardew Valley a little bit. But uh, he's better than Jojo Mart, so it works for us. Right, let's get these seeds piled, actually. We can meet more NPCs in the latter days, but I need to get these seeds all planted on day one so they grow together. Actually, we might as well meet the doctor here. I can't remember this guy's name. He's the doctor, isn't he? He is Harvey. That's it. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Well met. Hopefully, it won't require your services too much, friend, but it's good to know you're there, if I do indeed. Oh, this is nice. I haven't played Stardew Valley in so long. I'm, it's all coming back to me now. This is this is truly is a wonderful game. It's honestly, it's probably one of my favorite games out there, actually. The mechanics are very simple. Uh, the goal is very humble. And uh, it definitely is one of those escapism games, isn't it? This, I think this is the life a lot of people would like to live. Very peaceful. But let's get some more plots down here. Oh, look, some clay. Very nice. This might be the max uh, croppage we can plant this season. Early days. We don't have the ability to make a big farm right now anyway, so that's fine. And let's just get these all watered. If I do continue this into a series, you will see the heights that the farms in this game can truly go. Huge swaths of land uh, with seeds of all kinds growing. Like greenhouses growing ancient fruit and whatnot. But that, that's actually a big grind to get to the ancient fruit production stage of the game, which I don't know if I'll, I'll take this that far. We'll see, I suppose. But this is the forest farm, which means there is less uh, crop growing areas. Like you see these... This turf here is all for uh, croppage, and you can't grow on this grass here. But because it's a forest farm, it gives us more natural wood resources. And later, we can uh, gather hardwood when we get a copper axe to this. And then we also have a cave, which allows us to grow mushrooms. So that's good. And I've got an alert here. What's this? Getting started. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Okay. Introductions. There we are. I need to meet all the people. 28. So I need, to meet, I need to meet 20 more people. For now, though, I'm going to throw in uh, a daffodil in here. Because why not? And then I'm also going to make a chest to see if I can start storing stuff. Do we go into crafting? A chest requires 50 wood. That's fine. We should get that no problem. Let's begin cutting that. Felling a few trees, I suppose. Luckily, they grow back indeed. There we are. First tree felled. Lovely. Oh, my energy is very low, though. I, oh, I totally forgot about the energy. My word, we need to eat something. Or well, we could pop into bed for a little bit, I suppose. Yeah, let, let's uh, let's pop into bed for a little bit and get some energy back, shall we? Why not? If you do this, you don't, have, you don't have to sleep. You can just rest here for a bit and your energy gradually goes back up. Or it should do. Well, I don't seem to be recovering my energy. I think, you know, I might need the double bed or like the king size bed to do that. Man, early days in Stardew Valley, I forgot kind of how annoying the low energy is, but that's the way it is. Early days. We also, oh, we got some, we got some um, mixed seeds there. We can plant those. Let's go try and gather as much mixed seeds as we can before it's bedtime. I think that would be a good idea, you know. Let's do it, shall we? Oh, there's a frog there. Look at the little toad. You're running away. Also, we're going to want to get our hands on the fishing rod ASAP as that will introduce yet another tier of chill vibes fishing. It's a very cool mechanic in this game. But I'm looking for some mixed seeds. Come on, bros. Give me the mixed seeds. This is what I want. 
yeah, like, I hope this won't be too boring of a video. It's its whole purpose is just to be a cozy, chill of a video. But that's, that's that's most of my videos on my channel these days. But it's normally with Skyrim, so hopefully this isn't too too far out for, for friends, peeps out there. But maybe I've got another mixed seed there. Let's see if we can find some more in this shrubbage here. Luckily, using the hoe doesn't lower our energy. It's just mining and chopping. So that's cool. There we are, some more mixed seeds. Very good. I think also with the mixed seeds, we can create some nuts and, uh, nut and, nut and like fruit bars, I think I, we can do, which gives us energy. Or we can just do the pizza method where we buy a bunch of pizzas from the inn and uh, keep those in our pockets. <laughs> right, is the, the night is getting on now. We don't want to be left to pass out here. That will not be good. Maybe tomorrow morning we can go meet some more townsfolk. Yes. Alright, let's continue onwards. The music once again has stopped. Maybe it's just the forest farm where the music doesn't play or something. I'm not sure. But here we are. Left with only the sounds of the night. Alright, let's use our last little bits of energy to get two more. And hopefully I can water them. I'm really hoping I can. There we are. There we are. Just like that. We're going to go to bed now. Let's get that fire going. Let's get nice and toasty tonight. Let's go. There we are. Oh, oh yeah, we put that daft in there. We've got 30 coin for that. There we are. It's going to be slow going on the, on the money front for us to begin with, but before we know it, we'll be swimming in the cash. There we are. Yes! We awake to the call of the rooster. And our energy is now to max, which is awesome. Oh, also, we have we have, we have have mail. Very nice. Let's see here. Oh, yes. This is the fishing rod. Just got back from a fishing trip. We should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Oh, Willie. Yes. My friend, the fisherman, will give us the fishing rod. Let's do our morning uh, watering schedule. Make sure these parsnips grow mighty and strong. Hopefully, it will rain at some point and we can not worry about the watering. Oh, but look, one of these mixed seeds was indeed another parsnip. Very good. I wonder what these ones will be. Maybe leeks or something. Maybe horseradish, possibly. But also, we're going to have to get ourselves a scarecrow uh, so we can protect our little crops growing here because birds will try and eat the seeds, which is not what we want. This is, this is our profit here. We want to get profit from every single parsnip if we can. Oh, no, I'm out of water. There we go. Let's do this. Oh, this is nice. I remember this. Very good indeed. Very good. Let's fill up our water can. I don't think we'll need to use that anymore today, though. Right, let's actually see about making ourselves a chest, shall we? So we can store some of the gubbins that we've currently got on us, like this uh, sap and whatnot. For that, I think we're going to need to fell ourselves another tree. So let's do it. We need 50 wood for a chest. I'm sorry, tree. You will grow, though. I just need your resources, please. There we are, let's grab that. And we are nearly there. If we fell maybe one more tree, we should we should be there. Let's actually let's cut that. Let's cut that. Oh also there is actually something here. A seed or something. Oh no, I hit the wrong thing. Oh no. Oh, I thought I could get that seed with the hoe. Oh, I think that was a sap a growing tree. I actually kind of killed a growing tree, that's not good. We don't want to do that again. No sorry. Right, we'll do this, we'll make the chest, and then we'll see if we can go to the beach and meet Willy for the fishing rod. And uh, start fishing the night away. That'd be very good. And we have enough wood now for a chest, so let's build that, shall we? If we come here, chest will be built. Boom. And I think I'm going to place it down here for now. I can always move it should I need to. Uh, can I place it here? Oh, I, I don't think I can place it. I've, I've placed chests here before in the past. I'm being trolled here. Let's, let's do it there. There we are. Let's store the sap and the natural resources. Let's store our watering can as we don't need that just yet. Oh, I can't move it to where I want to. That's not good. Oh well, we'll put it there. Um, what do we need? Let's keep our axe on us at hand. Let's keep our scythe as well. Yeah, that's good. Right, let's uh, let's hit up the beach, shall we? If there's any more townspeople, we'll meet them, of course, as well. Yeah, so hopefully the way I play this game isn't too frustrating for any Stardew Valley pros out there. I, 
the way I play games is really just organically. I'm not like an opti optimized gamer, so I don't find out all the tips and tricks of the game. But if you've got some, uh, you know, some tips and tricks for me, feel free to whack that in the comments below as well. In case, uh, in case I'm frustrating you with my the way I play the game, I suppose. <laughs> But here we are. Let's go to the beach. And here's Willie. Yes, our good old friend here. Cutscene. Our first little cutscene. Very nice. Let's sit back and watch this, shall we? Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Well met indeed, Willie. Pleasure. Ah, oh, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out of the salty sea. Should I, should I do voices? I'm not sure if I should do voices. It was a big haul. I saw a lot of good fish. Good indeed. I, I hope to do the same one day. I hope you're making a fair profit, friend. We need local business thriving in this town. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Oh, so you're going to give me the old one? Here, I want you to have my old fishing. See, see, everyone just is so kind off the bat in this town. This is the life I want. Where you know your neighbour. They want you to succeed. Your friends. Oh, dude, st the Stardew Valley life would be amazing. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from me in the shop once in a while. I will indeed. You'll be the port of cool, if you will, to all my fishing needs. Thank you, friend. I appreciate this. You've given me a free bamboo pole. That's exactly what I wanted. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Well, I hope, to, I hope you can teach me a few tips and tricks. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. It smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old papa used to tell. Anyway, cool, awesome. If it smells, it sells. Look at this, yes. Ripe waters for fishing. Let's let's do a little spot of that now, shall we? We've got no bait, but we can still fish without any bait. Uh, although we could also buy... Oh, we haven't actually got enough, enough money for any bait right now, sadly. We're cash poor because we put all of our funds into seeds. But it's, uh, hey, that's better than crypto, right? <laughs> uh, let's do it. Oh, our first bite. Our first bite of the day. We've got... He's not a wily one. I was going to say a wily one. He's not really a wily one, actually. He's kind of a, a docile fish, but we'll catch him nonetheless. Nonetheless. What have we got? Ooh, a sunfish. Very nice. We'll sell that to Willy before we leave as well and uh, get a bit of coin. Also, I don't think fishing uses our energy... I hope it doesn't anyway. Although actually it might. I'll check next time we cast the rod out. I might do some late night fishing later in my forest pond. Oh, here we go. Another one. Another pretty docile fish. Oh, here he goes. Let's see. If we oh, no. I was, was going to say. Let's see if we can get a perfect cat. Oh, no. He's, he's running. He's, fr he's fleeing. I've got you, buddy. I've got you, buddy. There we are. What's this? A sardine. A singular sardine. Okay. There we are. Max. Max cast. There we are. Oh, yeah. Okay. It is depleting our energy. That's... It's not good. Oh, we got ourselves some seaweed. That will give us a bit of energy should we need it. So let's keep that in our pockets. All right, I'll catch one more. Then I'll go pick up some clams from the beach. And then uh, head back home. Maybe do some more more tending of my, my new lands, perhaps. Oh, here we are. Come on. Oh, there's a, there's, a, there's a chest up there. Let's see if we can go grab that in a sec. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go max as possible. And then I'm gonna do this. Come on. Yes, got the chest. There we are. Boom. That's how you do it right there. Just like that. Come on. I got your fish and the treasure. Okay, so we've got a herring. And what's the treasure? Oh, frozen geode off the bat. Off the oh, okay. Let's take that to the blacksmith. See what treasures we have uh we have there. Very good. Two frozen geodes by the gods. Amazing stuff. Let's go pick up is that a mussel? Uh, that is indeed a mussel. Oh, I, you know what? I don't mind mussels IRL. They're actually quite nice with a bit of white wine, some garlic and onions. Right, what have you got, friend? Oh, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm kind of applying that voice to this guy. This guy kind of looks like he sounds like that, but he seems nice enough, so... Every, everyone in this town seems somewhat somewhat nice and pleasant, so that's, that's, that's always good. Once we build this, we can uh, cross. With 300 pieces of wood, it could be fixed. We can cross and uh, grab grab the bounty over there. So let's let's do that at some point. 300 pieces of wood. I believe there is some more some more stuff over this way. Oh, there are some worms there. We do this to the worms. 
Um, oh no, my hoe! I need my hoe! Ah, oh, I left my hoe behind. I'm a fool. I can't dig up the worms. A shame indeed. I wonder if I can quickly run back and grab that. Although the worms will probably be gone by then, I imagine. Alright, always keep my hoe on me then, I'm guessing. I should do. Right, Willy. Let's, uh, let's trade, shall we, friend? Let me sell to you my sunfish, my herring, my mussel, and my clam. Okay, a humble amount of... Uh, Coin that trout soup. Training rod. Okay, so we, we don't want that. We will, we don't want that. Can we buy other rods from him? I don't think our fishing level is high enough yet. That's fine. I believe you can get like, um, I believe you can get better rods. Oh, what a shame about those worms. A shame indeed. I'll go get my hoe and see if I can grab them again. Actually, it's lucky that we caught Ellie on the beach there, because normally he's quite hard to get. Because uh, he's in his cabin a lot, vibing. I'm Sam, good to meet you. There we are, a little pleasant interaction there. Well met indeed. I will not rummage through the trash just yet. Uh, let's go to Saloon and see if we can meet uh, this dude here. I can't remember his name. It's a three-letter name, I think. Yeah, Gus. Hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Stardrop Saloon. Well met indeed, friend. Well met indeed. It looks like the customer's slow right now, I'm sure we'll pick up in the evening. Can spend many a nice evening at the saloon, the Stardrop Saloon. Well, I say then, uh, there's no rush for us, so let's head back home. Although, actually, let's check the ball. Let's see whose birthday's coming up. Okay, Lewis on the 7th, that's fine. And Vincent on the 10th. Okay, so our, our calendar is clear for a while. So we, we must remember, we must remember Lewis's birthday. Maybe we can give him a something that we've grown on our farm, perhaps. Or, or we could quickly pop to the smithy and see if we have the coin to break open our geodes. Oh, that'll be a good idea, actually. Yeah, yeah. So this is definitely early game. So we have to run around on foot. We haven't got the the rail system or the horse yet. So it's going to be slow going for us. Early early game Stardew Valley is it's a little bit of a grind, but we'll, we'll get there eventually, I'm sure. Also, there's people here that we can we can meet. Let's talk to everyone. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. I'm says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm okay. I, I live here now, so I'm, a, I'm technically a local now, I suppose. And what have you? Penny. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. Hello. I'm James. Right, let's... Uh, what are we doing? Let's go to the smithy. Oh, I think he might be closed, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, he closed at four, by the gods. Right, that's fine. We'll go back to the farm as intended, I suppose. Let's do a little bit of fishing over this bridge. Why not? Just just catch one. There we are. Straight off the bat. Right there. Yeah, I don't think we'll be catching any legendary fish right now with our current rod slash lack of bait. But we got ourselves there a smallmouth bass. Very nice. All right, let's, uh, we've got a bit of coal as well. Let's jump home. See, or, we, or we could just quickly pop in and meet everyone. There is no one here. Okay. Oh, have we met this guy? Is this Alex, is it? I can't remember. Hello there. Yes, it's Alex. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. Indeed I am. Oh, there is a... Uh... Bring me 20 copper ore. Okay, that's a bit too uh, out there for my current expertise. I won't be seeing copper for a while. Actually, maybe we should head to, head to the mines tomorrow. That would be a cool little excursion. Right, I'm just going to quickly store what I don't need in here. I'll keep my hands on that. I will grab my freaking hoe back because I need that. Yeah, cool. Let's do some rearrangement here. Right. It'll go freaking axe. That, that, that. There we are. Cool. Right, what else can we do before, before it gets to the evening? I guess we could just fish the day away, I suppose. Why not? It's always fun. We can catch some rare fish, I believe, in this pond as well. So only only pond fish in ponds, and then sea fish and sea in the sea and whatnot. So there is actually different types of fish. You've got pond fish, sea fish, and river fish, I believe. And then it, they, those change during the seasons as well. And if it's raining, it changes. If it's night, it changes. So it's a lot of mechanics in the in the fishing, especially if you want to. Oh, what is this? Someone's littering in my here, in my here pond. I will not accept that. Jojo Cola. 
Oh, I can't wait till we open the hidden forest as well. That'd be really nice. I do love the hidden forest. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a bit more of a wily one. He's oh, oh yeah, look at that. Oh, he's dipping. Oh, okay, I might actually might not get this one. Come on. Come on, fish. You ain't, get, you ain't escaping me. Come on, this has got to be a good one. What is it? Oh, a wood skip. Indeed. I might see about saving some of these fish to see if the community center needs them. Oh, a broken CD. Trash. Get out of here. Cleaning up my, my farm here. Damn, the litter. I, I, I've come to escape the the trappings of, of modern life. I don't want to see more litter in my here freaking pond. No, thank you. Another CD. CD after CD after CD. I'll try one more time to get a fish. Just trash flowing everywhere. I'm starting to get exhausted now. That's not good. Here we are. Another CD there. Okay. That's slightly annoying. The amount of uh, trash currently in our in our what is meant to be pristine waters here. I'll quickly deposit mine fish. A bit of fibre as well. And then come morning, I might make that my last day for this episode. Uh, just to gauge whether or not you guys want to see more of this. So let's jump inside, shall we? Our fire is still wrong. Probably a bit of a safety hazard there to do that, but that's fine. There we are. My fishing rod proficiency. Look at that. Plus, plus one fishing rod proficiency. Very nice. That's what we like to see. We made zero coin for that CD because it was just trash. Pure trash. There we are. Day three. We love to see it. It's now raining. Look at that. Yes. It's done for us. Job done. We don't need to rain today. Or we don't need to water today. I wonder if I can make a... I currently can't make a... Hmm, that's a shame. I wanted to make a scarecrow, but that's okay. Right, let's uh, let's take today then to meet as many people as we can, and then do some more fishing, I suppose. I'll keep my ho I'll keep hold of these for now, just in case I need the the energy. Also, I'll keep my hoe handy, so I can indeed dig up the worms should I see them again. Anyone down here? Let's go oh, let's go pick up this stuff. This is what we want. Right here. Any more down this way? No, nothing down that way. There might be some more things to pick down down this way. Oh, I can't go down that way apparently. I thought I could. Oh well. Oh, I, I do like it when it rains. It means we don't have to, to water our crops. One day we'll get ourselves some nice sprinklers and do automatic watering for us. Oh, what was that? That was a, that was a, a creepy noise indeed. Right, it's a bit of a dead town this this early in the morning. Um, oh, do you know what I should do? I should go back and get those those uh, geodes, shouldn't I? Get those cracked open by the the blacksmith. There could be some rare materials inside, indeed. Also, then we can we can meet the blacksmith as well. Right there we are. I have grabbed the geodes here in mine hands. So we'll take that to the, the smithy. I think he opens at nine. Did it say? So that should be good. And then uh, I guess we'll meet some more locals. See if we can get all the 28 to talk to. That would be nice. And then, uh, yeah, we'll start progressing, hopefully. Right, Smithy friend, please be open. You were open at 9, okay? Let's just fish for a while then, I suppose. Fishing is the great killer of uh, killer of time, I suppose. There we are, let's do this. Boom. Actually, it's, it's already 9 now, so we don't really need to fish, but we'll, we'll catch one little guy, why not? I do believe when it rains as well. I think um, catfish is quite a good one to catch when it rains. So let's see about that. Please, oh, do not give me a broken CD or a piece of algae. I guess it's better than a broken CD, but we'll, we'll go to the smithy now. Hopefully he doesn't take all our coin to break open these geodes. Uh, process geodes. Boom. Oh, look at that. Oh, fairy stone. I don't think I've seen... Is that a new thing, fairy stone? And a bit of iron, iron ore. Okay, thank you, thank you, friend. Let's let's talk to you as well. Clint. Uh, hi, I'm Clint. Yeah, so Clint is a bit of a a bit of a doomer. He's a bit of a sad boy, I suppose. Um, I'm not sure if there's a. I can't remember if there's like a heart event for him, where you cheer him up and you kind of get him to stop being so woe is me. But yeah, he's kind of a a woeful fella in this game. But uh, also there is. We could get this fairy stone to the 
the library. Here he is, his Gunther himself, the interesting fellow. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. He's got, he's got nothing, look at this, and e empty shelves everywhere. Oh, he's been alerted to me. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. By the gods, let me see it. This is the fairy stone. Is he interested? Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. I I will give it to you, friend. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? I could. Yes, friend. Indeed, I will. We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. I'll be uh, honoured if you did that, friend. Think about it, will you? If you d if you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. I will indeed. I'll start with that fairy stone, friend. Where would you like that? I could lay, I could lay it down on this far one here, maybe. Here, friend. I have a fairy stone with your name on it. Donate to the museum. Let's start filling up from this side, shall we? Let's just do this. Boom. Look at that. Journal updated. Have we now met him as well? Does that count as meeting him? I think that does. Right. How many more people have we got to meet? Introductions. 70 oh, okay. Still, still a few more peeps to meet. Uh, I guess we'll do that today then, shall we? So we've met Clint. We've met that uh, guy in the library there. Who else do we need to meet? We met Pe Penny. I think we need to meet Pam, her mum. And then a few more Fomans. Demetrius and, and whatnot. Let's go, let's meet the Jojo guys, shall we? There's this person. This is Shane. I think this is Shane. Let's meet him. Shane's hard at work. Okay, I don't think we can talk to him right now. There's a cashier as well. Oh, we could buy parsnip seeds. Let's not do that. I don't want to support this, this conglomerate, this corporation. No, thank you. What of you? Welcome to Jojo Mart. How, how are you doing today? I don't want to talk to this guy. I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, a Jojo Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a Jojo member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. I will never become a Jojo member. Never! So yeah, you can basically go down two paths. You can do the community centre stuff where you... I'm sure we'll see it as time goes on, but the community centre where you build up the community centre. Takes a while to do it, but it's a, it's a bit of a grind, but it's it's the light path, I guess. Or you can just pay money to Jojo and they'll um they'll they'll turn it into a freaking factory or something or a warehouse or whatnot. That's that's basically the evil mode in this game. That's as evil as you can get in this game by supporting a a corporation. I think your character also worked for Jojo Mart as well in like the offices at the very start of the game. Uh, which you leave to to tend the farm. Right. Let's actually go down from our farm to see if we can meet some fellow farmers. I believe there's some people in the outlying areas. It always takes me a while when I start a new a new save to meet all the all the locals. Here we go. If we cut down this way, we should be uh Yeah, here's the farm. That's oh, so I think we met Marnie already. I do believe I think Shane lives with her. I think Shane's her son or something. Oh, look, here's, here's Mayor Lewis. Hello there, friend. Your first night in the old cottage. It was actually a, a delightful night. Having a half of my own was very nice indeed. So you can't actually enter people's rooms right now, because you need to... Here it is. It said you need a um, good enough friends. So once you become their buddies, they uh, allow free access to their rooms, I guess. <laughs> so I think we spoke to Marnie, right? Yeah, we did. You look like you're soaked, you poor... Th I am indeed a the torrential downpour. It's raining cats and dogs out there. But that's fine, I like the rain, I'm used to it. Let's see if we can find some forageable goods down here. I believe there's plenty of leeks that grow down this way. I wouldn't mind uh, lobbing those in the box to make a bit of extra coin. A bit cash poor right now. Here's some daffodils. Oh, here's the leeks. That's what, this is what we wanted. Very nice. Oh, spring onions. Oh, I love spring onions. Oh. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry now. I wouldn't mind eating a spring onion right now. Dip it in some hummus. Hell yeah. Also, I believe there's a little merchant cat down here. K kind of like a little Khajiit, I suppose. He's a, he's a merchant of hats. He's a seller of fine hats, indeed. Down here somewhere. I'm not sure when he unlocks. It looks abandoned. I think it might be. 
Look at this trash. There's trash on our shores here. No, please. This is my this the valley. The Stodgy Valley is what is meant to be one peaceful place away from all the troubles of the world. I don't want to see trash on my doorstep. No, thank you. Right, I believe near Ma next to Marnie's house there is another person. She's a um an artist of sorts, a sculptor. So let's see if we can talk to her next. I can't remember her name now. Here, here's her house. We might not be able to access it. Yeah, only Leah's friends can uh, enter uninvited, so we have to meet her outside of that house. Uh, look at these little little cows vibing. Hello there. So Marnie, she runs an animal farm, and we run a more crop focused. Or we can actually get animals at a later date. We can get cows and chickens, which is nice. Let's clear out all this muck, shall we? My inventory is full. That's not good. Right, actually, I am going to sell some of these spring onions. I want a bit more coin. And these crops still have a few more days to grow. So let's actually, let's keep let's keep a spring onion just in case one person wants one. So we'll keep a daffodil as well. And a dandelion. And we'll keep a leek as well. We'll sell. We'll sell the rest, including the Joja Cola. Because get away from me. I don't want to slip upon your, your demon drink. Let's put this iron in there as well. And honestly, <laughs> I'm going to mean a bit, but I'm going to go back to fishing. But I don't think I'm going to fish in my ponds here because I seem to be only collecting trash from them. So we're going to go to the town and uh, fish from the, the crisp and abundant waters of the lake running through the town or the river running through the town. Or, or actually, we could, we could quickly meet Demetrius, couldn't we? It's another character to meet. Also, Haley might be over here. Is she over here? I think she only hangs her out when it's a sunny day, so it's currently downpouring. I don't think she'll be around. Cool. But look, there's more daffodils here. We've got a gold star one as well. That's uh, Oh, I haven't got my pickaxe, by the gods. I should probably carry all my tools on me, but it's just inventory space, I guess. Another daffodil? Yes, please. Let's meet Demetrius, because I believe Demetrius is the one who unlocks the mushroom cave for you. Again, I don't know when. I've kind of not played Stardew Valley in a while, so I'm not sure quite how you unlock everything. But also, there's this fine lady here, Robin. She constructs the new buildings for us. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. I have not. I have a long way to go, but I'm, I've met you now, and I hope to meet Sebastian and uh, Demetrius. I'm Demetrius. He's a local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Well met, friend, indeed. I think he has a daughter as well. I can't remember her name. Oh, yeah, over here. Sadly, I can't meet her just yet. She's she's toiling away down there with something. And there's the sun down here. And he's not even here right now. So that's, I think I've already talked to him, though. Right, there we are. That's cool. What other quests have we got here? Archaeology. Oh no, we've got we've got some coin there. Look at that. Didn't even know. So we've still got nine people to meet, so we're quite far off yet. Let's go talk to the guy up here, the homeless guy. He's a he's a kind soul. Falling on some bad times, but hey listen, if you're gonna be homeless, it's better to be homeless somewhere like this, where there's a solid community around to help you. Hello there, friend. Linus. A stranger, hello. Hello friend, are you okay? Do you need some sustenance? I've only got seaweed to give. Would you like some? Oh. Oh no, friend, I wanted to give you some nourishment. That was all. I'm so sorry. Okay, how, how about I make it up to you with this? A uh, gold star flower. No, I don't want to eat it. I want to gift it to my friend here. Oh no, I gave him some trash and now he's... Oh no, I'm sorry friend. My apologies, my, my deepest sympathies for your current blight. I did not look down upon you. I promise. But there's some worms here. Oh, just giving us some clay. Alright, let's head back towards our farm as it's, it's getting on. We need to sleep our, our sorrows away. Oh, another leak. Yes, please. It's also day three, so it's far off until till, uh, Lewis's birthday. Alright, let us... Let's just say we get to bed, right? Let's just let's just pass this day quickly. It's not, it's not, it's not going to be too, too early. I just want my crops to start growing. Right. Farewell crops. I'm going to actually quickly throw in some stuff. Oh, there's some more seeds here. Yes, please. Let's do that, shall we? 
Let's plant down a couple more seeds. Boink, boink. There we are. Let's store some fiber. Let's store my gold star daffodil. I'll take this one back. Let's store our clay and I will sell this stuff. Very good. Right, let's get out of this let's get out of this rain now. Let's get nice and cozy and toasty. Let's warm ourselves up for a bit, shall we? Maybe watch some TV. Weather report. Okay, let's see what it is. It's going to be a clear and sunny sunny all day tomorrow. Okay, very good. Fortune teller. Now, nah, I'm not ready for that just yet. Let's leave. Let's, let's go to sleep, shall we? Yes, please. Sleep for the night. Oh, level up. Foraging. Axe proficiency. Trees sometimes drop seeds. Wild seeds. Oh, field snack. That was the thing I was on about. The little bar. The little fruit and nut bar. And we've made ourselves a little bit of coin there, but mostly we've got some foraging XP, which is nice. And, my friends, upon day four... I think I might leave this episode here, as IRL is getting quite late now. I've uh, been on this for a bit longer than I probably should have been. But there we are, nice nice, pleasant day, the sun's shining, the music's playing finally again. And my friends, I will leave you here. If you do want to see some more of Stardew Valley, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'm not sure when I'll do these videos, but anytime I feel like a little cozy gaming sesh, I'll do a Stardew Valley vid maybe. Maybe even a live stream at some point, who knows. But yeah, I think I'll uh, I'll jump off for now, my friends. As always, if you like what you see, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. Your viewership is always appreciated, my friends. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.